message from God to you. If God thinks it's okay for me, then it's okay for me. I'm going to use God's report. Hallelujah. He says I'm a star and that's what I am. Hallelujah. Are you getting me? You are about to listen to a transformational message by Apostle Aki David of Light Givers Ministries International. Stay tuned and be blessed. We set the pace for a greater I had my own belief, but they sacked us on the way. The whole group said they were offended at the ministers. Some of them are with us in ministry. If I'm lying, you should ask them. Which I see today, and I know you go far. They were offended. We didn't walk too far. Let's say from here to behind the wall here. And I said, no, I'm going to buy. I said, let's contribute. They said, no. I took my own money. It was my last. I bought it and I returned. Then they followed me there. Even when they followed me and the administration was going, I was going to the loo. They followed me to the loo to say, you shouldn't have bought it. We don't pray. The one who cannot minister like the people ministering. You are fighting what they are doing, but you can't minister. If they say to put on a second minister, you can't do it. Today, all that they were doing, I can do. Yes. It's not by chance. Lawyer, faithfulness to the cause. At least we saw people healed. At least we saw people delivered. We saw people come out of witchcraft. We saw things. Isn't that what we are all looking for? If, if jogging from here to Kumasi, you still arrive. Flying, you get there. And driving a car, you get there. Flying is the best because I hear it is around one hour, two hours. If today we cannot afford the flight and our level of knowledge is the running, let's run. Let's run. That is my belief. Are we in this place? Poor widow. She threw in more, more. She threw more than all the which are cast into the treasury. Look what the next verse. For all they did cast out or in of their abundance. You see? They are Today, if I give to God, I don't feel it like when I started out. So sometimes I even pray and ask God whether I'm giving well. I'm telling the truth. This is my honest truth. When I started giving out, I felt it than today. Today, maybe it is even my, you know, when you're a minister, you can plan your own giving. Then there's what we call unplanned giving. You can just be there and say, something has happened to a member. To, last night, around midnight, I was called at a member from one of our ministry centers. The mom has been hospitalized. And somebody went to the hospital and realized that it was on this young member. He's a young guy. I mean, probably 20 years or something. And they say there's blood clot in the brain or something of the mother. And he's the only one bearing all the bills. And I was informed somewhere midnight yesterday. <laughs> this is unplanned giving. You can't plan that one. Can you plan it? I want to see you after service. Okay. You can't, you can't even plan it. How can you plan that giving? So we, the ministers, you can be there, someone will call you that, I need a little to come to church. It was not planned. So it has given me a character. But when I was not a minister, I planned my offering, I planned everything. I felt it high. You know, when you are giving, you wish you would buy fried rice. You know, you wish you would buy shit. But today I can afford those things. So son, I don't feel it. They say that these people have read that, that I'm talking about. So when they give, they may not feel it. But this woman, what did she do? But she of her want, she has needs, did cast in all that she had, even all her living. My goodness. Did you hear Jesus call her to say, come for your money? Did you hear it? I don't know who you are following. You are listening to people talk. Did you hear even stop her from giving? Who knew her background story? Jesus. So when she was giving, you see that it was detailed giving. When the woman came, have they reached on the head, poor widow? Have they reached on her certain poor widow? He called himself because he knows all things. And he informed them. He's trying to teach the disciples that for you to be on this journey, you must be a giver. And one day, Paul later will say that when the apostles gave him the right hand of fellowship to go also be an apostle and go and minister, they didn't give him many laws except that he should remember the poor. You see, he quoted it. You cannot say you're a good minister, you don't like giving. What, what minister are you? I've always wondered. Over here, we've not done harvest yet before. But when I was a kid, I always wondered why a minister would take a microphone and say, we are doing harvest. 
And if you give, you will be, you be multiplied by you yourself. You don't give. I decided to be a different kind of minister. In this ministry, nobody has outgiven me. It's the record is there. I want to walk the talk. I want to prove something to the ministers. One day when I'm not alive, what am I leaving with people? That we should come and uh, uh, people should be waiting for when he will die to get property. You know, you write will. Some of us will write will because. God will lift us more than you are seeing us. Yes, that's our belief. So they say that hey, I did ministry with him for uh, 30 years, so I know that no matter what he will remember me somewhere. Now, who the who are they? I walk the talk. Are we are you in this place? Is that the Bible is working or it's not working? Mm -hmm. So, first fruits, tithes, and offerings. Then let's read Matthew chapter 10, verse 40. I'm reading to 42. He calls it giving to a man of God. That's what is in your Bible. Giving to a man of God. He that receiveth you. So you are, you are called of God. It's not everybody who is called, but you are called of God. If you are called of God, he said anybody who receives you is receiving. You know what it means that I receive here? Receive doesn't mean if I come, I'm a traveler, and I get to your door, and it's lit. And you receive me. How do you think you have received me? So go and study Elijah, Elisha. You see how they were received. So maybe, yeah, 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 yeah. So you should understand it, right? So to receive means it's going to cost you. You are going to host Jesus in your house. You are going to host the man of God in your house. The man of God is coming to sleep. Remember that the prophets used to stay in a woman's house, give her a child, and raise the child back to life. The woman and her husband, they spent a lot on him. You remember that? Good. So you remember, you may give the person shelter, food, water, drink, whatever. Some of you, in your house, you don't have anything for guests. Yes. The Bible says, for some have unwittingly eh, entertained angels. In the Bible, some receive angels. There are some fetish men who got their fetishness from receiving some people too. All right. Listen. Hospitality is of God. Your house, you must, when you, you are a young guy, or even if you are a young guy, you are not married yet, you must buy a bowl for visitors. A car for I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you. You are looking at me. I'm talking to you. If you don't have, this is a good sermon. <laughs> you must have at least one bowl. Your own father will come to your house. You give him the same bowl. Some of you, the cup you have, it's not used to brush your teeth. It's not used to. To, to drink tea, it's all you need to drink water. This cup alone, the cup has suffered. When you a cup like you, go to a man's house like you, you are in trouble, you are in danger. You are going to live a risky life. You were bought for two cities on the market, but you are going to suffer like 10,000 cities. <laughs> you will be used a hundred times. I say, Apa! You are used Yes, some of you don't like what I'm saying, but you must like it. Some bowls. When we relocated, my wife had something she had there. I personally, I didn't call my wife. I went to shop myself. Personally, me. I got bowls. I got cups. Do the kitchen, they have this. Do you know I also have mine? It is somewhere in the house here. I have everything set. I cannot invite somebody. Your whole father cannot visit you. Come and drink the same cup. You give this cup. You might buy calabash. <laughs> buy calabash. <laughs> Receive. We will give you a nice place. You, you have best sheet. Best sheet. Not the one that you have put saliva in. You must have good best sheet for visitors. Just yesterday we were clearing the storeroom in our place. And I saw best sheets that I had reserved for visitors. They are there. And, and I got... I got it washed yesterday. I got them to wash it yesterday. Best sheet. Best sheet for visitors. Some people are looking at me. No, 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 no. You are on that train. Are you? We are talking about visitors. Are you angels? No. Ah. <laughs> he that receiveth you, receiveth me. And he that receiveth me, receiveth him that same. So look at what you saying. You receive a man of God, you receive Jesus. And that means you receive the Father. You see what Jesus is saying? It's a high thing to welcome a man of God to your house. 
pastor is doing follow up, landed in us, no water. No water. You don't even have drinks in your fridge. You have a fridge, but all that you have loaded your fridge water for yourself. You see, over here, uh, uh, I mean, in our place, in my place, we are using bowl. So I fill my own in glasses. I love the bowl of water. Anything health wise, you know me. But I have bottled water for visitors. This week, we were visited by mom and dad, her parents. They were just sitting down looking at them. The last time I trained them, the her woman, I trained them that they should go and buy a drink and bring. This time, she was aware the parents were coming. She didn't buy anything. I had reserved malt. So I went in there. I said, I sent them. I said, bring them a drink. And they were asking, should we sell what? I said, let's see how, what you know. Yeah, I really, did I not walk the talk? Yes. You must have drink, be a eh? small drink, eh? Some of you have been taking some drinks, so they call it what? Um, mission, they mission them, they mention some for me. Freeze. Hey, what? Bell cola, huh? They mentioned that to me. And then one more, one more. Squeeze. You got how much is a, a pack? No, no. Well, the way you made my son, I visit you, you may not have these things for me. How can I come to your house? I will cry to my veteran. So are we here? <laughs> <laughs> yes. When I went to visit one of my sons, when I entered, he didn't give me water. Somebody's interpreting. You interpret your own thing. <laughs> That's what your husband told me. He said, Please, I don't have chair for you. Hey, they told me. So do you know where? And if you don't have chair for me, this is your hall or something. You get me at the gallery. Do you know what you did? He took me to the bathroom. I was standing at the bathroom waiting. I said, Son. We've known each other for 10 years. Why am I standing at your bathroom? You've been staying here for more than a year. Please sit down. You know, some of us, we are not hospitable. I want to visit him. When he visits me, I move with him straight to the kitchen. We get it, we cook, we eat. Yeah, I've moved him several times to the kitchen. I said, this is what I have. Let's enjoy. We've known each other for 10 years. I said, you've been living somewhere for more than a year. I don't know. I came from Accra, entered, got to the place. 6 a.m. I was there. Well, if, I, if I'm visiting you, that's the time I visit you. I don't have to be in the day. If I want to visit you, very early, 4 a.m., 5 a.m. If you want to talk to me on phone, the best time is done. If we enter the day, I'll start at work. 4 a.m., 5 a.m. Oh, please, you can for like six hours. How <laughs> here? Receiving, receiving. You must learn it. Well, let's read verse 14. If you receive a prophet, he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. Now let's look at verse 42. A righteous man. So it means, it's not only to minister. So this scripture, though what I'm taking there is given to a man of God, but this scripture is about everyone else. Are you seeing? That's why I explain it to suit everyone you are, your father, your mother, your uncle. Be welcome. Some of you ladies, a visitor, your husband's parents have come. You, can't, you won't cook for them. You are telling them you want to go and buy wachi for them. Silly woman. <laughs> I just said the silly so that you keep it. If the day you are doing it, I want you to remember that I said you're a silly woman. Hey! But if it is your own parents, we know you. Before they come, you have gone to market. Please, it is witchcraft. Whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water only in the name of a disciple. Verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. Jesus is telling you, you will not lose your reward. He will increase you. You see now, he will increase you if you are hospitable. You are a giver. So giving to a man of God. Giving to Christians, right? Now, next point. Giving a seed of faith to God through the church. That time somebody wants to give to church projects. Church outreach, missionary work. You know, churches, partnership arms, right? That is also a form of giving that is instructed by the Bible. You are supporting God's house. Sometimes the church wants to send missionaries, missionaries to a place where there's no church to go and start something. It is something you can give into. Some people want to give an offering in the house of God because I'm giving because I'm moving to the next level. Fine. But basically, I've, I want that to stick with you. You are first of all blessed because you are a child of God. That must stick with you. 
Because if you go and take your faith, that it is when you give before the answer. But what the Bible talks about is increase. Levels. All right. Collection to help people. I think we've, we've seen it. Oh, you didn't see it. Collection to help people. We find in 2 Corinthians 8, verse 1. Moreover, brethren, we do you to wait of the grace. In fact, if you can give me that scripture instead of talking to the gentleman. 2 Corinthians 8, verse 1. Do you know what I did today? I sent something to you at the back there. Did you receive it? Did you receive it? Ah. Uh, when we close, we'll talk. 2 Corinthians chapter 8. 2 Corinthians chapter 8. Please, I want you in TLB. Hurry up, hurry up. Now I want to tell you what God in His grace has done for the churches in Macedonia. Next verse. Though they have been going through much trouble and hard times, they have mixed their wonderful joy with their deep poverty. They are a poor church. And the result has been an overflow of giving to others. Just like the widow. They've given to... They didn't, because every time your church may need something, every time you need something, since we started this ministry, there's no day we say, we can't say we don't need anything. Every day we are doing something. After first project, we move to the next project. It's less like that. And it will be like that. Every day we'll be doing something. But it's telling you that you can't say because of that, people cannot be helped. You can't do anything. So these people, they give to others. Next verse. They gave not only what they could afford, but far more. This is also a form of giving. And I can testify that they did it because they wanted to, and not because of nagging on my part. Not because I had to come and stand and use 15 scriptures. Come and talk, 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 talk before they will give. You come and talk. We need this, we need this, we need this, we need this. We are doing happy for France. Our target is one billion Ghana cities. Before you say that, if it's one billion, I cannot lose my, I must bring my all. Next verse. They begged us to take the money. Hey! Some people are say, Oh, I saw my uncle. But these people, Paul, that's why Paul said he's a witness. They begged us to take the money so they could share in the joy of helping the Christians where? In Jerusalem. In Jerusalem. Collection. Nezres. It means to me, ma. You must learn to spread the love. If you are giving like that, this one may go for free. I can give us a, as an example, firstborn, poor house, five of us. I barely had to struggle for years and pay my first fees. But I, you know my first fees, when I got the whole thing, I gave it. I told you before. And then I entered school miraculously in a week. And when I came, all the four people I had to take care of I don't need I didn't need to take care of them. I've given some things before. But three of them have been taken care of. The last one is the one sitting there. It would have been my bedding. God cleared it. Yes. God cleared it. And that's the last one. Visitor. Sometimes people don't know. Busy about the lost business. Best of all, they went beyond our high hopes for their Please, I'm talking to people who, who love Bible. If you don't, you are not interested in Bible. Go and live your life. I said there's a world system. There's God system. This God system. Yeah. For their for their first action, they put themselves to the Lord. Look at these people. So I just told you, I'm talking to Christians. These people. Said the first thing they've done is that they've dedicated themselves to the Lord, and then they've dedicated themselves to their ministers. They are working with their ministers. They've dedicated themselves to Paul's ministry. So they are not in Peter's ministry, they are in Paul's ministry. Okay, okay. It's one ministry though, but you know they were divided in the work. So this group of Macedonians, they are dedicated to the Lord. They also know that they must be loyal to their ministers. Anna, Anna, For whatever directions God might give to them through us. That is the direction we have this month. That we want to go and give to the poor and the needy. It's a direction. You want to go and repair your phone, go and repair it. Go and repair it. We don't have a problem with you. Nobody's going to force you. Yes. Nazareth. They were so enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. Behaving. Hey, let me not bring the word. They on record. They were so enthusiastic about it that we have edged titles. They were even forcing us. They were almost forcing you away. We don't, they, they are forcing us. Hey, when you have such cases. 
<laughs> forcing ministers to collect. <laughs> Charlie, you are a team, be 54. No. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Charlie? 50, 50. <laughs> really feel that. Be D400. Who will encourage your giving? So he said, the way they have done so, we have to send titles. How do you send titles? And do you know that titles are taking this week? The 50 people, titles. There are many sardines, but you know, titles is standard. Yeah. <laughs> to who it may concern. Yeah. Some people took my titles. <laughs> they took my titles. They thought my name is Festus. <laughs> hey! Who are you you're giving in the first place to visit you and encourage you to complete your share in this ministry of giving? I don't know which ministry Simple thing they are in. But as come to ministry, give. Give. Your blessing is in your own giving, my father will always say. Your blessing is in your giving. My blessing is in my giving. If we are 20 ministers, if the church is blessed, how much may come to me is a general blessing. But you see, my own financial progress is in my personal giving. That's what my father taught us. Are we, are we, are we learning something? The last one is helping the needy. Simple give and they give to a fault. It's English. Helping the needy personally, on your own. Sometimes we say, you're helping the needy. You see, as we are doing the one we are doing in the church now, we may do it once a while, that we all come together and give. But you yourself, it must be in your life. You know, I do that. I've been doing that for probably 20 years plus. There are people I pay school fees in this church. There are evidence of when I didn't have anything. School fees. I pay you your own before. I pay people. School fees. You are paying school. You are doing this. Parents. Some parents, I put them in a trade. Yes. I put some parents. I bought phone, mobile phone. If you are a person. One day, one of the members mother came to say, People were asking me when they meet me. I said, Who bought you this? I said, My daughter's pastor. Then they, she said, They said, Hey, your daughter's pastor told there's something. And I was doing such things, such foolish things. You look at me and say, I was doing foolish things like that. But where I've not reached where I've reached for nothing. Yeah. yeah. Mobile phone for a member's mother because she needed it. I was spreading like that. And I'm still in that life. And people who come here full cannot come here full again. I'm ahead of all of them. I'm in this place. Mm -hmm. So Luke chapter 6, verse 30. KJV. He's talking about giving beyond yourself. Yeah. This month, some of you by now should have started. Have you started giving? You have not. You are waiting to 16 or 70 say that. <laughs> Please, we have divided the month. This thing, can we not take it to this one? No, we are doing it now. Let's not go and do our own thing personal. Who did you me? Who did you me? The needy. Yeah. Sometimes it hurts. I think on our knees, personally hurts the war. Yes, you see what people I built. I think the last item I saw tonight before coming here was how a man was sitting on rubbles. One of the bombs have hit his house that he has built personally and his shop. And he was crying. People have lost their children. We, we are under our roofs. We sleep and we are wasting soap. People are not batting. You will not believe this. In Greater Accra, about eight years ago, we went around getting children who were not going to school. We were going to put them in the public school. So a team of about five we were going from house to house in the slums. We saw two brothers. They look white. Their skin is white, pale. Their senior brother would be like uh, probably 12. The younger one would be like eight. They were stinking. And we asked, they said since they were born, they've never bad before. Will you believe that certain things exist? Till you go out, you will not know. 
Don't go out, you know, you know. Sometimes I'm hard on my the people in this house. I'm telling you. Two days ago, last week when our ministers came to visit, some of them came to visit me and I gave their wives a bag of rice to cook. I don't know who was doing this. Either they or the staff or something. I saw a bowl. Eh? They, want to, they want to wash the bowl. But the rice you find in the thing, even I, a best woman, when I they said, hey, I see you. Now, so yes, and I yes, see you. You're as wicked as you are. Yeah, you, as we are contributing this one to go and help people, you have not contributed yet. You say, oh, you are wasteful. When you find wasteful people, eh, it, my wife is here now, she knows. If she does it, I, I'm a gentleman, but we'll have something to quarrel about. Eh, somewhere in the book of Psalms, mm-hmm. Psalm 82, right? He said, Defend the poor. I'm a defender of the poor. Eh? There were days we were poor at home that for two days there was no food in our mouth. When the food came, we vomited. Mm? So when I see wastefulness, you, you are just wicked. You waste electricity. You can save money from your people this month. Eh? The way some of you put on your light and television and you are batting. Light and television. You are outside talking to somebody on mobile phone. Eh? If you save that amount, you can help somebody. That, okay, for me, that's how I am. I don't know about you. But please, if you call me father. I don't know what I'm fighting. D and D and We don't look like each other. As there is hair here, your hair, everything is in your armpit. Ah. For me, I can't stand waste. And till I leave this world, I can't stand waste. Wastefulness. Waste. I don't know. Oh, you don't meet people, eh? You don't meet people. Hey, are you sure you don't, you don't meet people who are struggling? People are struggling. Somebody has left Ashanti region to Accra with no place to put their head. To start so I can say something. Wrong. You don't be seeing them. Somebody left the northern region to come and do kaya. And then you give the person something to carry. They carry to a long, uh, on a long journey. Then you, you negotiated uh, 10 cities. Then you say you are giving them five. Maybe they will carry only four things to the end of the day. You say, you, you, uh, me, I have negotiating skills. Wicked woman, <laughs> J.C. Bell. If you're a man, you are Ahab. That means I have negotiating skills. So when I go to the mall, I cannot live without taping some people. That's why if you are from my tribe. Ah, please, please, please. You will touch my heart now. The last time I went there, I went with them. I asked a lady about something. She just told me when I was leaving. I don't want her to see my face. I'll give to the staff. I said, give and give to her. This week, I'm going there again, the same place. Oh, when I go, they, some of them even greet me now. Five of them. They know if I come, I must draw something. Chairman. Ah, this is. Because why did I start giving some of them money when I had their salary? Last time we were all in Ghana here, we had Malcolm. There was an issue. And then we heard people were being paid 150 in this country. 150 in this country. Then you go. You go and call. You are even reporting them to their bosses that they must be fired. They must be fired. <laughs> you are reporting them. Which kind of Christian are you? Ah. Well, just recently, I was at one of the Malcolm branches when a guy called me. He has been to our churches before. I went there to check something one of the pastors. And he has been to this branch before. And mentioned pastor, pastor's name here, Pastor Bernard, that I used to be a student. And I said, what are you doing here? And he said, um, now, when you see the gentleman here, you think he's coming from a big house. Today. He completes and he has to work. He's not thinking about feathering. He said there's nothing at all. He must work. He's now the breadwinner. Just completed school. I asked of his results, good results. So when I came out, I was moved. What I was coming to buy, I didn't buy. So to go home with the money, I said no. And I called him and gave to him. And I left the pastor of the area, number with him. And I said, you should be calling. You should be visiting church. We'll see how we can help him. You, you don't think about anybody. Anybody. Eh? We have drivers here. I believe there may be time they may have to give. Do you, know, do you know that you may have to give people lift for free? It's also part of God's work. So now you have picked four people or three people. There's one seat left. Ah. I remember something my father in the Lord told us about how a small girl was standing across the street wanting to cross the road. 
and people passed by, passed by, passed by, and they were crossing. And then the girl felt, I can also cross. She rushed and she died. My friend, he said he was, he was standing there, saw it across the road, saw it happen. Sometimes just holding somebody's child to cross the road, we are too fearful. Say, be a bit him who say, be a kidnapper. What about the girl that you have kidnapped in your room that you have been sleeping with? The girl that you have not, the parents don't know that you are dating their daughter. You wait till she dies, but you are taking helps with her. <laughs> eh? The last time I was driving out of this place, I got premises here, and I saw a small girl alone, dawn, early morning. She's going to school. And the nice thing is that as soon as I turned, she saw me and she greeted. So she greeted, I said, Ah, what's your I said, You greeted me. I'm mean, oh, fine. I said, Where are you going? I was not afraid that somebody said I'm kidnapping you. So the first question I asked is, Will you be afraid if I pick you to school? She said, No. I said, Where's your mother? She said, I go alone. She's going to walk for about 30 minutes or 40 minutes to school. And I don't think she's even six years old or seven years old. So I gave her a lift. Few months later, they were in church. And I saw the mother. The girl remembers me. You see, you don't know where you meet them. You don't know where you meet them. You may not know where you meet them. I met a man and a wife, two children, late night. I was driving out from this place. Late night. And I asked where they were going. No, they were going to the hospital. The child was very sick. I drove them far to the place. The next time I was standing somewhere, Vodafone office, the man touched me like and said, Apostle. I said, Who told you I'm called Apostle? I don't know you. He reminded me. You may not know. You may not know. Your toothpaste. Your toothpaste. Cry. Hey. Have you ever bought toothpaste for somebody? Have you, have you bought soap? Soap. Soap, do everybody will use, or? Soap, everybody will use soap. Can you, have you ever bought a box of soap? And you are giving to students. I mean, students. Most, some of you are teachers. Your students cannot feel you. Hey, they must feel you. When I, was, when I was in school, father, I didn't have much. But there will be days I'll call him and say, School son, today you must feel your father. Hey, today is a pastor here. Hey, school son is a pastor. You where is your school son? You where is your school son? <laughs> Now my school son is here with me. And look at the souls he has been bringing. Because of this, nobody is following your ministry. Because of this, this. Your hand is like this in the spirit realm. In God we trust. Like this. <laughs> Charlie! Uh, school son, I will call him and say, Charlie, there was a rice cellar. I said, today you must feed your father. You must not just be there and then you are my school son for nothing. Well, what is what is there? <laughs> you are not merciful. You don't remember people. People are struggling. People are suffering. Give to every man that asks of thee. If they ask. So from two, this is from Jesus. Now when you sit in a and somebody say, Pastor, me here to see this. Give to every man that asketh of thee. If he be willing and obedient, he shall eat the good of the land. And of him that taketh away thy goods, ask them not again. Una ye for what they are. And yet, you must fight it to the core. He said, if they, you, they ask you for something, they are not bringing back. Ask them not again. Please, let's put in a modest translation before they say that I didn't speak good English. TLB. Somebody called you and said, Oh, me, I'm in need. If you have give, what, is, what, are, what are friends for? If you give and the person was a devil, when you give like this, Jesus said you have learned to him. And you pay you back with interest. Do you not believe Jesus again? Some of us, this is how we lose souls. You lead in this church. Although you do, I cannot see any face of anybody you ever invited because of Lord You yourself, you are a kiss. You are a kiss. Give what you have to anyone who asks you for it. And when things are taken away from you, don't worry about getting them back. Don't worry about getting them back. He said, give to effort. That's why I said, giving to effort. Helping the needy. The needy. 
one of our pastors. This is what I love about him. He, when you see his car now, he has put a, people, people call us, they think we bought the car and gave to him. He has written church logo, phone number. The last time we were going to his place to go and preach, we got there done. On our way, we crossed paths with the car. Do you know where the car is going? Going to pick people. They will pick people and bring them to church. I didn't know. One day, I found out he would fool the car himself and pick people. That's how he was growing his church. For some of us, apostolic car, ministerial car. So we don't pick anybody. Some of you have car, you don't pick anybody. If you have car, you won't pick anybody. God, you, you won't pick anybody and bring to church. You won't drive and say somebody's. You calculate the fuel first. I use my car without thinking about the fuel. Yes. Yes, and they reminded me of when our brother here was not feeling well. They called one morning, they say it's at the hospital. Uh, one of the hospitals in this town. I drove there. I didn't think about the fuel. You don't think about it. When you when you come, you come and sort it, go on the here. Eh? You don't think about the fuel first. Some of us we are very calculative. Oh. The fuel. Let, let me walk to the junction. By the time you go, you will die. <laughs> the way he uses the car, I told him I want to be a part of it. Me, I'm a giver. So I told this minister, I want to be a part of it. Then now every month, I also send some, some amount of money because this is so winning. It's winning so My money must be so So now every month, I'll send something. This is my intention. Some of my ministers may also buy a car later and do expect that I'll bring four because I do this here. I'm warning you. I'm warning you. He didn't need to tell me. I saw his heart. That's why my eyes said me. I love such people. That's how come we will see people rise. We are seeing those who give rise. They will rise. Because they, they didn't come to learn a part from us. They came for the whole thing. The whole package. You must be a giver. Yes, you must decide. This month, if they say this, I'm teaching you about these things. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Your eyes are looking today, you know. And you are, you are, my wife is tired. I have to close. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs>